hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix we couldn't sign you into xbox live let's fix it guys the first solution is to repair microsoft edge and web view to do this go to search menu and type control panel click on open it select uninstall a program you just need to scroll down right click on the microsoft edge and select change select the repair option after finishing this you just need to close stuff here now right click on the microsoft edge web view and select change and select yes select repair after finishing this you just need to close up here and go to search menu and type xbox right click on the xbox and select app settings you just need to scroll down select the repair option now select the reset option After getting reset done, you just need to close stuff here and go to search menu and type store. Right click on the Microsoft store and select app settings. You just need to scroll down. Select the repair option. Select the reset option. After finishing this, close stuff here. Now you need to do the same for the game. You got the error. Go to search menu and type the game name, guys. You just need to right click on it and select app settings. Scroll down and select the repair option. Select the reset option. This was our first solution, guys. Now you can check if the problem solved or not. If the problem not solved, let's move on to the second solution guys. The second solution is to set Xbox services automatically. To do this, go to search menu and type services. Click on open it. Scroll down to the bottom. And now you just need to right click on the Xbox accessories service and select properties. Startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it guys select apply and ok for save changes now you just need to do the same for other three over here just double click on it automatic and start it apply and ok automatic start it apply and ok double click on it automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it select apply and ok for save changes now you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the third solution guys the third solution is to reinstall xbox service with powershell codes to do this go to search menu and type powershell right click on the windows powershell and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for this two codes used in my video copy the first code and paste it and press enter now copy the second code and press enter now the microsoft store will open up guys you need to install the gaming service click on install after getting installed and you can check if the problem solved or not i hope one of these solution fixed your problem guys if the video helped you don't forget to leave a like guys you can also subscribe me and support me guys thank you